I love Halloween. The one time of year when everyone wears a mask, not just me. People think it's fun to pretend you're a monster. Me, I spend my life pretending I'm not. Brother, friend, boyfriend, all part of my costume collection. Some people might call me a fraud. I prefer to think of myself as a master of disguise. Play along with him for now. What happens after that? It's enough that you tried. I mean it. Maybe it is enough for you, but not for me. <laughs> I'll trample it to the ground. The whole outside world. And every person in it. Men, women, children. Every last one. That isn't the answer, Aaron! Most of the people out there don't have anything to do with what we've <laughs> gone through. They would die ignorant and terrified. Like your mom. You'll be killing innocent people for reasons they'll never get to know! Now show me, where is the enemy? Right there. I'll end it! Here and now! I'll put an end to this world! If you give me your strength! Yesterday was October 31st, and we had an amazing workout. By the time y'all seeing this lift, the uh, lift is already out today, so it's November 1st by now. But all I'm going to say is, it's one of the most funnest experiences I had in training in a couple weeks. Looking forward to doing more outside training. Sergeant Dokes makes sure of that. He follows me everywhere now, a human bloodhound incited by the scent of darkness. Hey, Sergeant. Thanks for supporting the bowling team. Fuck you. So what's that, a titty sight? Oops. Caught me. Bullshit. What the hell were you really doing here? There's bodies in those bags. The butchered bodies were submerged inside these heavy-duty garbage bags. The Bay Harbor Butcher? This neighborhood? It's full of crazy. Jesus fucking Christ, you're the Bay Harbor Butcher. I really hate that name. The Bay Harbor Butcher. You know the name. I wanted to start off heavy and then I wanted to just drop set all the way to this one plate and do 45 pounds just so you know I could bring out some hypertrophy sets and some strength sets as well, just to bring out both. I went from, uh, let's see, when I, yeah, I went from 185 pounds to 135 pounds to 45 pounds, then I went to body weight, as y'all see right here. So here's my advice to you. You go back to whatever nook of the world you call home, and you do whatever it is you're good at, because this is not it. You want to know what I'm good at? I'm good at killing people. So the first time I saw this kid perform, he improvised a monologue about a soldier that came back from Afghanistan who got a job as a hitman. If this guy was someone you knew, Champagne's gonna get warm. You know the one thing I've been dying to ask you? How did you not know who I was? You're a cop. I think a real cop would um, at least have a sense that she was the presence of the person that she was hunting. Right?
the most you ever lost in the coin toss. Sir? The most you ever lost in the coin toss. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't say. Call it. Call it, yes. For what? Just call it. You don't have to do this. People always say the same thing. What do they say? They say, you, you don't, don't have to do this. this. is the best I can do. Call it. What the hell? No, 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 no. But what all of that has taught me, everything goes to shit when I don't follow my instincts. Smother your own hopes and aspirations because you think you'll never be able to achieve them. So, what's the point? You look down on yourself and all that you can do and refuse to leave your comfort zone. The possibility of failure and rejection terrifies you. You easily feel discouraged and worthless the moment you encounter a setback. You deny yourself opportunities to grow and have new experiences because you don't believe in yourself. Your insecurities make it hard for you to see your capabilities and you can't allow yourself to succeed. We all have a lot of self-destructive behaviors that are toxic for our mental health and emotional well-being. So many of us struggle with feelings of insecurity, emptiness, and worthlessness that it can sometimes lead us to hating ourselves. Doing those weighted pull-ups was a blast, I'm not gonna lie. I really feel my back it's so sore from doing these weighted pull-ups. Honestly, if y'all wanna build a bigger back, I recommend just spam and pull-ups. Like pull-ups is like the best back exercise you could ever do for your back. Pull-ups are low-key underrated in my opinion. Thursday, October 31st. The city streets are crowded for the holiday, even with the rain. It and the chaos is the element. Waiting to strike like snakes. Then I'm there too. Watching. Here in our evidence lot behind a secure gate. Someone signed the vehicle out, picked Rodrigo up, killed him, and then signed the vehicle back in. So we have records? I will be kept. The only people allowed access to those vehicles are members of the Miami Metro Police Department. Holy shit. Wait, Harbor Butcher is one of our own. Um... 